Okay, this how-to video is going to discuss the differences between uh, dynamic copper shapes and static copper shapes. So when you go to add a shape, if we look in the options pane, you've got different sorts here. You've got dynamic copper or you've got static uh, copper. Um, the biggest difference is obviously one will update dynamically. So if I was to drop a vial or route through this copper shape, um, this will update dynamically. This shape will not. This is a static solid. This will stay as it is. Um, there are manual ways for you to go and clear any errors um, and you'll see a DRC error. I'll, I'll actually show an example of this. Uh, the second thing is obviously the visibility of the two copper shapes. So one of them has um, is a solid dynamic copper. The other one is, has this kind of cross hatch pattern or this, this hat ha hatch pattern inside it. Um, you can control this if we go to the setup user preferences and then if we look under the display and open GL there is one here that says static shapes feel solid so if I was to enable that and hit apply and OK we'll do a, re a redraw it will display the same personally I don't think that's a good idea but that's uh, you do have that choice if you'd rather see it that way so let's just go and change that back quickly So once we've got it there, um, let's actually just start. We'll go and add a connection. So we'll route out one of these pins here and I'll route through. And so straight away, you can see I'm getting a DRC error. Um, so if I click on here and continue, you'll see it's going to effectively show me some DRC errors. So we'll carry on routing. We'll then uh, just turn shove off. And we'll just route through into the dyna dynamic shape. And you can see the dynamic shape is actually updating. So it will update as I route through it. Um, if I do right mouse button, oops, it will repair itself. Um, so it can save you a lot of time, um, which can be useful. Let's just finish it there. Um, if I wanted to update the shape here and, and actually stop the clear the DRC as I can do that using the shape manual isolation cavity command and then pick element. Make sure your find pane has the relevant element inside. So um, pick the shape. And then the element I want to void is effectively a C line. So I just uh, click the C line. It's actually going to break, break the shape into two. So do I want to continue with this? Yes, I do. Click OK. That shape gets split uh, and the, the errors are cleared. And you're then having uh, void two separate shapes now. Obviously, the biggest advantage is uh, the fact that this will plow and, and heal as it works through. This one won't. But this can sometimes be used if you're doing some specific type of copper area where you want to maybe some power routing or maybe you've got some RF tracks and you don't want to edit those. Um, so if you drop a VAR, you want to physically move the VAR to a different location. Um, so it can be used to use static shapes um, in designs.